Hello there, it's break time, and here's the LEGO Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion set. This set is for ages 6 to 12. It is set number 75904 with 860 pieces. This set comes with Scooby-Doo and 6 other LEGO minifigures. Let's start with Scooby-Doo. Scooby is in a walking pose and has a blue collar around his neck. Next is Shaggy. He has two alternate faces. This one's happy and this one's scared. In this set, Shaggy has a simple green shirt with creases and the brown pants and his hand is a hot dog. The next minifigure is Daphne. In this set, she also has two alternate faces, one that's happy and one that's scared. Daphne has a purple shirt, skirt and shoes and a green scarf around her neck. On her head is a hairband. In her hand, she holds a camera. The next minifigure is Velma and she too has two alternate faces, one that's smiling and one that's greeting her teeth. Velma has an orange blouse and red skirt with red shoes on. In her hands are a treasure map and a magnifying glass. The next minifigure is a vampire. He has yellow eyes and fangs and he wears a grey suit with a black bow tie. His face and hands are pale white. He also has a cape around his neck. He also has the alternate face of a character, Bob Oakley. Their next minifigure is the Black Knight. He has a grey helmet with a red plume and wears a full set of grey armor. In his hand is a double axe. He also has the alternate face of the character, Mr. Wiggles. The last minifigure is a ghost. The ghost is completely white and carries a ball and chain in his hands. He also has the alternate face of the character Bluestone the Great. This set comes with a motorbike. It is blue and grey in color. The upper half of the bike, including the seat and fenders, are simply clipped on to the lower part of the bike. Attached to the motorbike is a passenger sidecar. And there's a brown backpack at the back of it. Let's get Shaggy on the bike and Daphne in the sidecar and off they go let's get Scooby in the sidecar looks like Scooby can't stay on and now let's look at the mystery mansion the mansion features a conservatory on one side a mystery wing on the other and a clock tower in the middle Let's take a closer look at the conservatory. Starting in the front are a series of clear windows and a pumpkin sitting on a ledge. The pumpkin can be turned around, revealing a jack-o'-lantern. There are some stickers of man-eating plants on the windows. Here on the side is a purple door leading into the conservatory. Sitting above the door is a lamp. The roof is made up of a series of windows. Some are designed to appear to be broken. There are stickers of roaches on the windows. The roof can be lifted up to allow access into the conservatory. Inside is a large man-eating plant with large jaws and yellow teeth. The plant is somewhat movable and the jaws can also be opened and closed. On the ground is another jack-o'-lantern and a bone that looks like a trap for Scooby-Doo. Now let's look at the clock tower, the middle part of the mystery mansion. Starting at the front is the entrance to the mansion. The columns that line the door, as well as the porch over it, 
all tilted at different angles giving it quite an interesting look. Watch out for the black knight who is guarding it. Once inside, there's a trap. It's a pendulum morning star. This trap is brutal. And here's how it works. There's a knob on the side that when turned brings the pendulum down on its victim. And here's a hidden feature. Behind the pendulum is a painting made from a sticker. But watch out, there's a ghost haunting it. Here's another hidden feature. Behind the main entrance is a trapdoor. When lifted up, there is a secret compartment hiding a golden key. Moving up the tower, there is a balcony and a large clock face. The hand on the clock face can be turned by a knob at the back. Watch what happens. When the clock hits 12, the vampire appears. And that's the knob that activates the whole mechanism. And at the very top of the clock tower is a coffin. Look at the print of the coffin. The resting place of the vampire. Now let's look at the final wing of this set. In the front, there are some windows barricaded by some wooden planks and there is a skull sitting on the fence. Above it is a steep purple roof that ends in a chimney that looks like a witch's hat. On the first level is the kitchen. Look at the stains on the counter, created by some sticker pieces. Sitting on the countertop is a giant burger and on the stove is a saucepan. This kitchen also comes with its own rat. Above the kitchen is another space with a safe. This safe can only be unlocked by the golden key. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Gold bars. But watch out, the safe is guarded by a ghost. And there we have it, the mystery mansion. Let's have some fun with it. It looks like Scooby and the gang are here at the mystery mansion to look for its hidden treasure. Daphne and Velma are going inside. They encounter the Black Knight and the Vampire. In the meantime, Shaggy and Scooby check out the conservatory. Scooby sees a bone and goes for it. He doesn't see the man and dog eating plant. Too late. In the meantime, Velma has found the golden key hidden under the trapdoor. But she doesn't see the trap above it. Goodbye Velma. The ghost tries to scare the gang away from the safe. And Daphne retrieves the hidden treasure. But Scooby finds something even better, a giant burger. Scooby and the gang also reviews the true identities of the villains. And that wraps up the Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion set. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you again next break time. Goodbye.